What is up guys, Yarshow Cycles, and today we're going to be looking at, yep, another project bike I bought. Let's go ahead and check it out. This is a vintage Italian road bike. Um, if you don't know, when I first started flipping, vintage road bikes are were a huge influence in uh, me. I learned a lot about them, mainly because people in my area don't know much about them. So I usually get them at pretty good deals. Uh, for what they are, we're going to go ahead and start out. Uh, it is a Basel, it is made in Italy, but let's go to the cranks. So, the cranks are Campagnolo Records. Uh, also, please note, I'm not too well on determining the Campagnolo group set. So, if there's not a Campagnolo record, let me know in the comments. All right, uh, but as you can see, it has a Basel chain ring, it's engraved, and this is what's called a penta or pentagraph. And it's basically uh, something that was done in this era. I'm sure it's still done to this day, but you know, something something that I think looks pretty cool. Uh, you can even see the little camp Campagnolo. Let's see if I could focus on that. The Campagnolo, wait. Ah, uh, there we go. The Campagnolo um, wire guide, which is pretty cool. Uh, pedals, Campagnolo. There we go. Uh, Looks like someone got this up and running recently because the chain has a quick release somewhere. So, oh, there it is. Has a quick release and it's an eight speed chain. So you could tell someone uh, did try to get it up and running recently. Uh, Campagnolo front derailleur. Once again, near a chain with the one, two, three, four, six speed um, hub or uh, freewheel. Uh, it has Campagnolo Nuevo Record uh, rear derailleur. I wish everything just had the name of it. That way I know what everything is. Uh, rear hub. I want you to look at all that grime though, man. Like, this is a like bar find. You know, it's just it's crazy. Uh, it is a Campagnolo Record. And just look at all that like grime. But I want you to see like, this is why I like vintage road bikes. Because... Even with all that grime, without me touching it, without being serviced for all these years just sitting there, I mean, butter. Uh, brake caliper, surprise, Campagnolo, um, more Basel engraving, Campagnolo, even has a little Campagnolo bolts. These are actually known for cracking, so I don't recommend them, but obviously, you know, you got Campagnolo fans who just go crazy over stuff like that. Uh, the Basel engraved C post with the Italian flag colors. Uh, old school looking cables. A lot of grime on this bike. Probably like old grease that got uh, left on it. Uh, more uh, engraving. The Basel stem with the 3T. There's a 3T stem with, you know, the Basel engraving front and on the side. That I thought was a three because of the three T, but no, that's actually a B for the brand uh, Bazo. Uh, three T bars, Campagnolo headset right there. Um, more um, engraving here on the brake levers. Also, once again, Campagnolo with the Italian flag on them. Front caliper, Campagnolo. Um, Front hub, front wheel matches the rear. So it is a Campagnolo record. And they are laced to uh, Mavericks G40, which look to be double balled with eyelids, which is, you know, which is pretty cool. Also check out the little engraving on the fork. Uh, looks like it's Columbus tubing on the fork, at least. The frame, I want to say is the same, but it doesn't say. Uh, Campagnolo shifters. And Adams Avenue Bicycle. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get. There you go. Adams Avenue Bicycle. I uh, haven't called them. Don't know if they still exist or not. But we'll see. Uh, also, let me see if I could get the bottom bracket. Has the Sinelli bottom bracket shell. Even though I shouldn't be buying more projects. Uh. A vintage Italian Penta bike, not something you pass up, guys. Like, just it's just not. I'm um, gonna go up to my Raptors for a bit. 
Hopefully I get time to do a complete teardown, clean, re-grease. Uh, she will be going new cables, new chain, new, new cables, new chain, new tubes. I will change the seat. Not a big fan of the seat. It's a Mountain L series, Wayflow seat. So that's going to be changed for maybe like a rose or something. But um, let me know guys. Let me know if that's the right group set on that. Let me know if it is a Campagnolo record or if it's um, something else that I just completely butchered the whole bike on. But uh, Yarshow Cycles, out.